Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing about a little interesting situation, okay? And when I saw this, I was just annoyed. Like, I was so annoyed because it's like this lady be saying anything out her mouth. And it's just like, somebody need to go ahead and like, you know, put her in her place. Okay, y'all. Here is what Azalea Banks had to say about Nicki Minaj. Nah, y'all have had a lot to say about my mental health over the years and like my opinions and all this, that, and the third. But like... Are you guys really not watching Nicki Minaj stalk Cardi B? Like, are you not watching this kind of like a psychotic obsession that Nicki Minaj has with Cardi B now and how dangerous it's getting now? Like, to be told, the reason you probably still mad five years later is because you probably originally wanted to be Cardi B's friend. You know what I mean? It's like obvious. Like you want to go to the Cardi B slumber party and wear like footsie pajamas and like hang out with Cardi because she's she's fun. She's fun. Like she doesn't. She's a good time. You know. And I think you're mad and still doing screaming because you've completely burned that bridge. Like you know what I'm mean? like. First of all, who want to be a friend with a criminal? Who is mad they're not friends with the criminal? Who is mad about not being friends with somebody who want to send shots at some girls for doing their job because their man is cheating on them? Who wants to be friends with that? Who is obsessed with her? Who cares? Who wants to be friends with somebody who you're going to see them tomorrow and they're going to have a new face? Who wants to be friends with 80 different people because they have 80 different faces? Like, come on. Who is obsessed with Cardi B in 2022? <laughs> Like, and then you, she says that she's stalking her? How is she stalking her? I'm gonna need some receipts, Azalea. I'm gonna need some receipts, Azalea, because what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Where have we seen Nicki Minaj post her face? Where have we seen Nicki Minaj stalk her or follow her on Twitter as a trending topic? Where have we seen Nicki Minaj in her phone scrolling past Cardi B's pictures? No, we have never seen Nicki do that. So how was Nicki obsessed with Cardi? And Azalea, where the hell you been at? What you been doing? Because I ain't heard nothing from you in years. Only time I hear about Azalea is when she's in the media over some drama. Didn't you just burn your cat alive? Didn't you just, didn't you just cook your cat? Like, what happens, like, did, like, didn't you just sacrifice your cat? Like, what are you talking about? See, this is the issue, okay? Like I've been saying before, I don't know why people want to act like Nicki Minaj is obsessed with Cardi. Because if we're going to be real here, Nicki is way above her. Nicki has accomplished more her career. She has sold more, you know, more projects than her. She has accomplished so much. And if anything... You know, who was here first? Who has been doing it first? Who has been, you know, achieving these milestones first? And who is still to this day making hits? You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to really think about that. Why do they want to make it seem like Nicki is obsessed with Cardi so bad? Why? Why do they want that to be the narrative so bad? When your label was just paying people to go after her? Like... Please, like, like everything everybody is saying is not adding up. You know what I'm saying? And if we're really going to get into it, Azalea Banks, you might not want to be too comfortable. You might not want to speak too much. You know why? Because back last year, you were saying Nicki Minaj does. Sing. I love you. I love you. The Barbs, y'all need to check her about that. Bye. She's sniffling. Bye. I love you so much for tuning in. We cannot allow this just to be sniffling like that. Like, we don't know what's going on, sis. That's that is inappropriate. No, we, we we have to talk about like that that sniffling, Nikki. You're not low. You're not low. You must have sniffling, sis. That shit not cute no more. It's not even cold no more. Once they locked El Chapo up, the original formula is gone. Where Azalea, you might want to keep that mouth shut. <laughs> you might want to keep that mouth on mute. You know why? Because Nikki can come after you. Because you, you making wild claims. When you get that court date notice, don't be shocked. Okay? You got all this mouth about all this stuff. Okay? But people can really put you in court. Defamation. Okay? 
And I really just feel bad for Azalea Banks. You know, I feel like Azalea Banks is just upset at everybody right now because, you know, her career never really took off. Her career never really popped like that. She had a few hit songs or whatever, but she never really got to mega superstar status. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, she never did that. And she goes around talking mess about everybody. And I think she really has some mental issues. Like, you cannot tell me she does not have mental issues. And I don't know. She just she just makes me irritated. Like, just looking at her makes me annoyed and irritated. Because who, like, what are you talking about? And something that I find very weird is how people are literally going viral on Twitter for defending Azalea for saying this stuff. Like, this tweet literally went viral. And people are supporting Azalea for saying this stuff. And just a couple of weeks ago, y'all was hating Azalea Banks. Now y'all love her. You know why you love her? Because she's spewing hate about Nicki Minaj, okay? Y'all love anybody who spreads hate on Nicki. And it shows because y'all will literally be a fan of a cockroach if that cockroach hated Nicki Minaj. That's how insane y'all are. That's how sick y'all are. Like, Azalea Banks literally switches sides more than Cardi B switches out her face. And that's a problem. Anyway, y'all, here is what some people on social media had to say about this situation. And y'all, somebody said Cardi got caught stalking Nicki multiple times and no one said anything besides the barbs. That is so true. Like, y'all are saying she's obsessed with her, but there has been many instances where we found her following Nicki Minaj as a topic on Twitter. We found her picture, Nicki Minaj's picture, in Cardi B's phone while she was scrolling on it. And we start following some barbs. And Cardi B always is replying to barbs on Twitter every time something's happening. So who's really obsessed? Who is really obsessed? Like, y'all gotta be fair with this stuff now. Y'all gotta be fair. And honestly, ain't nobody checking for Azalea Banks in 2022, okay? Ain't nobody looking for that woman. Like, she can't, like, please. Anyway, y'all, um, how do y'all feel about the situation? How do y'all feel about Azalea Banks saying that, you know, Nicki Minaj is obsessed with Cardi? How do y'all feel about Azalea Banks being obsessed about Nicki, okay? And how do y'all feel about the whole Azalea Banks saying Nicki Minaj does see? I want to know your opinion because I really feel like Azalea Banks just be talking out her mouth and she needs to just shut up. Like, be quiet. Be quiet, okay? Because you now, you, now you're doing too much. <laughs> you're doing too much. Anyway, y'all, we cannot be listening to people like that. We cannot be, you know, listening to clowns who spread false information online. And, you know, we just got to ignore it. But anyways, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment, okay? Comment and subscribe. Tap that bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. We are growing so much. We just hit 2K subscribers, and I am so thankful. I'm so glad. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.